Hello and welcome to this introduction to Office 365. In this short video we're going to look at sharing files on the OneDrive. So previously we've looked at OneDrive, we've looked at how to log on using our username and password so this will be familiar to you. Get to your app launcher, waffle menu as they keep calling it, but it's the app launcher. Go to OneDrive and here we are. A couple of key elements to sharing files on, on OneDrive. The environment itself, so you can see this is how you select a specific folder or file. The name, when it was modified, by whom, its file size in the case of a, a file, as you can see here, and who is shared with. So, I have a document down here that I'm going to use. I'm just going to rename it. going to call a test. I was actually using that document the other day with someone. Alright, so it's called test. I'm going to use this as one for that I'm going to share. When you're sharing though it's important to realize what's actually happening. You're sharing a link to this document. You share it, at the moment you can see that there's a padlock and it's only you, so it's just me. I'm not sharing it with anybody. I can click on that link. You can see that I'm the owner. And what the owner means is that I can share it with whoever I choose. But whoever I share it with, that's different. They can't just share it on again. It's not theirs to share. So once I share it, to share it with somebody, I just go to invite people. I'm going to share it with Rose Lawler. That's Rose. I'm going to leave it so that Rose can edit it. I'm going to tell her that to, to ignore it. Okay. And I'm going to share. Before I do though, at the moment, Rose can edit the document. If I wanted to have a read-only version, it would just be can view. So if you're sharing, I don't know, an assessment brief or um, a QQI document with one of your students, or a class of students for that matter, you don't want them to change the brief. So it would just be send a read-only copy. But I'm going to leave Rose edit, and I'm going to click share. Now, you notice that this is going to change. Now has Rose Lawler's name on it. It's also sent me an email, which you can just hear coming through now. I've gotten an email to say that I've shared a folder. Rose will get a corresponding email to say that it's been shared with her. You can share a file as many times as you like. You can share it with dozens and dozens of people. You will know because it will say Rose Lawler and 23 others here. And if I click here, everybody that I've shared with will appear. This is where, retrospectively, you can change the permission if you wish to change to view only or vice versa if they are at view only. So if I go back you can see now I can just change it back to allow edit and so on. I can also stop sharing which is important if it's a case that you're collaborating on a project and you wish to stop sharing with rows. I can just click stop sharing. That will go back because Rose was the only one so it'll go back to being just me which means nobody can see it. All right. There are a number of different ways to share. I always use this one. Some people are right clickers and as we established earlier in the previous tutorial these three dots mean further options. So you can click on your further options, you can click share and the same window appears. You can also get a link to that document which is here. So that's where this file, this test file lives. So if I copy it, just allow access and open my email I'll just close, I'll use my Office 365, go to Mail, and just wait for it to open, click New, just going to allow pop-ups for this site, New. I'm 
just paste. So I can paste in the link. That's a link to that one file. Somebody can access it. It's guest access. Okay. I'm just going to leave that again. Back to my OneDrive. So back to my app launcher. OneDrive. And down to my file. Okay. And share. There are other options. You can also share folders. Same idea. Well, that's shared with everyone. Project management, share, and so on. And finally, when people share files with you and you want to see them, you just click shared with me. And these are things that have been shared with me by Paul and Corinne and different people. Alright? And one final thing if you wish to delete a file, click it, press delete, and realize, oops, I didn't mean to delete that. It's not gone. Remember you have a recycle bin. Click the recycle bin. And there's the file. With lots of things, but this one is the one we just deleted. And you can restore it. Yes. Okay. I hope you find this useful. Best of luck. I can be contacted at d'oconnor at lmetb.ie as always. Thanks for your time.